Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. The Bible in Malachi 3 2 talks about something called the refiner's fire. The job of that refiner's fire is to refine and purge and remove everything in the life of a man that offends God. Anything in the life of a man that has not been put there by God. Let's ask for that refiner's fire today. Lord, I thank you for a new week, Lord. I ask that your refiner's fire will go through your people, Lord, removing and burning off everything that is chaff in their lives, removing and burning everything that has not been planted by you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that they will step forth into this week as brand new men and women in Jesus' name. Amen. Whenever people discuss the subject matter or even think about the subject matter of hearing from the Lord, usually their minds go to um, gaining direction from God. What is God saying about my future? What is God saying about my business? What should I do in this particular aspect? Or what is this particular um, direction? If I go in that direction, what's going to happen? But you know, there's one aspect of hearing from God that you must look out for. Beyond all these other ones of getting direction from God and all of that, there's this one that is very critical. You must daily look out for and not ignore it. And it is the rebuke of God. You must look for when God speaks to you and brings rebuke to you. It is something that most people don't look out for, but it is very important because God will not just be talking to you and giving you direction and showing you all of those things, talking to you about your life if he does not include the element of rebuke. The Bible in Proverbs 29 verse 1 says, Whoever remains stiff-necked after many rebukes will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. So for this man here, it means that God has rebuked him over and over, but he refused to shift, he refused to move, he refused you know, to move away from what God has told him to do. And the Bible says that because of that, destruction comes without remedy. So God will bring rebuke and that rebuke, he expects that you pay heed to the rebuke he's giving you, not to feel condemned, but to pay heed and so that you can, you know, change whatever it is that you are doing. The Bible says that if you constantly refuse the rebuke of the Lord, then what will happen is that you will face destruction. Every wise man, look for that rebuke element in the speakings of God. When you look through your heart, when you go through the day, look for that stop back thing that God is doing you. However, God is saying you, this thing you did is not proper. This thing you did, you shouldn't have done it. And all of that, it is to preserve you. Now, David writing in Psalm 6 verse 1, he said, Oh Lord, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. So simply what he was saying is, Lord, I want you to rebuke me. I welcome the rebuke. But Lord, what I'm only praying is that when you rebuke me, don't rebuke me in your anger. So David here was not asking that God should not rebuke him. He only said, please don't rebuke me in your anger. In other words, I welcome your rebuke. When you speak to me and give me direction and tell me about my destiny and tell me all sorts of things about my life, that you love me, you care about me, please Lord, don't leave out the rebuke system. Don't leave out the rebuke warning. Don't leave out the rebuke speaking to my heart. It is critical. If you read again in Psalm 38 verse 1, the Bible says, Oh Lord, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. The same David too is writing the psalm. So you see, repeatedly he's asking God, I want you to rebuke me. I want you to correct me and all of that. Because if that element is not there, you will end up in destruction. That is not the plan and purpose of God for your life. If a lot of people have gotten into trouble because they ignored the rebuke system of God, they ignored that warning system on the inside. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 8 says, Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. So the Bible is saying that when you are a scorner, that's when you're somebody who, you know, um, laughs off or blows off or take lightly rebuke and all of that. The Bible says that that man, when you rebuke that man, he will hate you. But a wise man, when he's rebuked, he will be happy. When he's rebuked, he will love God. He will love whoever it is that God is using to bring that rebuke. However, most people don't like rebuke. Most people don't like to be corrected. Most people don't like to be told that what they are doing is wrong. They just want to hear all the good, good things. They never want to hear anything that is not proper. When I mean it's not proper, anything that they feel is not proper, I meaning something that you're telling them, oh, this is not good, this is not right. But the Bible in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 5, gives us a different perspective to rebuke. He says, 
Have you forgotten the encouraging words God spoke to you as his children? He said, my child, don't make light of the Lord's discipline and don't give up when he corrects you. Meaning that as God is speaking to you, one of the things he's going to do is to bring discipline. One of the things he's going to do is to bring correction because God wants the best for you. Like I've said, look out for the correction that the Lord is giving you as he tells you all the wonderful things. Look out for the correction. The Bible in verse 6 of that um, Hebrews 12, it says, For the Lord disciplines those he loves and he punishes everyone he accepts as a child. So if that discipline element, if that rebuke element, if that correction element is not involved in God speaking to you, then you want to check very well your relationship with the Lord. Because the Bible says one of the ways you know that God loves you is that he actually brings rebuke and all of that. And that rebuke is to shape you and put you back on the right track. He says, as you endure this divine discipline, remember God is treating you as his own children. So if God accepts you as a child, the what it means he is going to correct you he's going to discipline you the bible in verse 11 of that place we're reading in hebrews chapter 12 it says no discipline is enjoyable while it is happening it is painful but afterwards there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who have been trained that way so if you have been trained in the way of rebuke, correction, discipline of the Lord, it brings right living. It causes you to live holy. It causes you to live pure. And the Bible says, if you have been trained in that way, you would have a bountiful harvest. Jeremiah also was talking to God and he says, so correct me, Lord. This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 24. He says, so correct me, Lord. He was actually looking for the correction of God. He says, so correct me, Lord, but please be gentle. Don't correct me in anger for I will die. So a wise man looks for that correction element in his spirit, not just looking for all the big things God will say, all the wonderful things God is going to say to you, all the direction God is going to give to you. A wise man looks out for that element where God says, my child, you shouldn't have done this. Or my child, step back a little. Or my child, it's not yet time to come out in the public. Or my child, it's not yet time for this. You know, but that's what a wise man looks out for. Because as God is speaking about all the wonderful things, he will also bring the element of rebuke or correction. I hope you have been blessed today and your heart is now open to receive rebuke from the Lord, knowing that he's rebuking, bringing correction, not because he condemns you, but because he wants you to change and be better because he has created you with the capacity to be better. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the week. For other life-changing messages, you can now download the apps Rev or Yeek Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyeks Alfred. With you for